Welcome to our educational video. This video has been developed by MedNav. MedNav is an organization that helps to promote women's and children's health worldwide through education and innovation. If you'd like to know more about our work or indeed support us, please visit this website link. Insert the suture three centimeters below the incision line and make it come out three centimeters above. Take the suture over the fundus of the uterus to the posterior uterus and insert a horizontal suture in the lower segment of the posterior uterus. Take the suture back over the fundus of the uterus and insert the suture again three centimeters above the incision and then to come out three centimetres below. Use your assistant to compress the uterus and tie your surgical knot. If you're inserting a brace suture after a balloon has been tried, you will almost certainly break the balloon. So it is worth putting a brace suture in first if you're going to use both techniques. It's important to remember to use an absorbable suture as non-absorbable sutures for brace sutures have been associated with bowel herniation and ischemia. The use of these techniques, balloon tamponades and compression sutures can reduce the need for hysterectomies in postpartum hemorrhage. In fact, in up to 90% of cases, you will avoid the need for a hysterectomy.